Okay, so today we're going to uh, show you how to use the OnViv app from the Play Store to access your security camera feeds uh, over the internet. <clears throat> they can be pretty tricky to set up. Um, a lot of people will be able to get it set up on their home network really easy because it auto discovers your cameras. But then as soon as you try to do it over the uh, internet or through the LTE, uh, it says no connection or you know it, it doesn't show you the, the video and that's because you're not on your local network anymore uh, so you've got to make sure that you're able to access it through you know the World Wide Web so the first thing you've got to be able to do is have the ability to access your feeds over the internet which means that you generally have to have either a static IP address or a domain that points to your computer uh, to, to your network um, I'm not gonna obviously I'm not gonna show mine but if you can if you can from another computer outside your network if you can type in an address and access your cameras then you will be able to get this on Viv app to work with no problem. So um, there's a couple different ways that you can actually get a DDNS address. Uh, there's free services out there. Uh, if you have a Hike Vision, Hike Vision offers their own. Um, other security cameras might also. Um, I have an ASUS router. And they offer a, DDN, DD, a free DDNS service. So there's multiple ways that you can do it. But the important thing, and this video is not going to go into that. This is just going to sh show you how to set up the, the OnViv app that you can get from the Play Store. And I'll show you that app here in just a minute. Um, but first, we got to make sure that the camera is set up to be able to, to work. So I created a, a temporary username and password so that I can show you the steps without exposing my uh, security details so we're going to log in here and this is my security camera pointing out to the street we're going to go up here to configure um, the first thing you really want to do Okay, well right here, we're, we're at the advanced tab. You want to make sure that you're set up, make sure that this is checked, uh, make sure that box is checked, make sure that the um, Hike Vision CGI authentication is set from basic to digest and basic, make sure that enable on Viv is checked, make sure that you have your uh, username and password set up in here um, we're going to go over here to system we're going to go to security right here under authentication make sure that the RTSP and the web is set to from digest which I believe is the default setting I may be wrong about that this has been it's been a couple years since I set this up so I'm, I'm trying to use memory to uh, you know to, to tell you what to set what, what to set up here I can't remember if this was set to digest uh, by default or if it was set to digest and basic but uh, either way uh, you're going to make sure that digest and basic is checked make sure you always click save whenever you make a change you have to click, click save for it to be uh, for it to take effect if you change something in a box and you don't click save and you're wondering why you can't uh, get it to work that's why because you didn't click save so it's not actually saved and uh, and I'll just so you know whenever you go over here to network you got your basic settings there's nothing really there you need to worry about um, and then you got your advanced settings make sure under advanced settings is where you check this so that is, is about all that should be needed on the uh, camera 
uh, side inside the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and log out of here. And I'm going to fire up the phone uh, screen capture. And I'm going to show you the actual app and how we're going to get it set up. Okay, so just to show you how this app, how nice it is. I'm not sure how it's pronounced on Viffer, on Viper. It's O-N-V-I-F-E-R. You can see it right here. So when you open it up, it will display however many cameras you have available. I only have two security cameras. Um, if you got a green dot up there, that means it's it, that's a live uh, picture, uh, basically a live thumbnail. If I click one of them, I'll click the first one, it gets the stream, and you're able to see the driveway, my two cars uh, in the driveway. Got the trash can sitting out. With the paid version, it allows you to zoom in. Um, now, I've just got the substream, like I say, uh, coming in. So, obviously, the, the uh, sharpness isn't going to be there. But the paid version allows you to zoom in. If you click the arrow next to it, it goes to the next camera. Um, again, allows you to zoom in on the paid version. And pan, obviously. Uh, whenever you turn the phone sideways, of course, it goes full screen. Very nice app. It's very small. I highly recommend it. Uh, I don't even use the Hike Vision app at all anymore. Uh, I did. Yeah, it worked. But I like the layout and the way this functioned a lot better. There's a lot of set, a lot of settings uh, in here. Uh, a lot of things you can do with it. You can, you know, I think I showed you this in another video. Uh, you know, you can record. You can take a picture. You know, everything. Uh, it's a lot smaller. Uses less memory than the Hike Vision app. So I recommend this over the Hike Vision app personally. Uh, now the Free version works, but you, you're not able to zoom. I can't remember if it allows you to record video. If it does, it might be limited to like, you know, 30 seconds or 60 seconds or something. I can't remember. It, it was 3 or $4. I figured out, you know, I use this all the time, so it, it was worth the 3 or $4 to me to go ahead and buy it. They keep it updated. I mean, they're constantly trying to improve it. I've never come across any problems with it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. You see that I've got two cameras set up, and we're going to add a brand new camera. And so I'm going to hit the plus sign. Um, if you have an OnViv device, then obviously the OnViv recommended tab is the one you want to click <clears throat> put in the name of the uh, or whatever name you want that camera to be this I'm, I'm going to put driveway um, right here you're going to type in whatever your domain is that points to your network that to your cameras um, don't put in just your camera IP address because it will work as long as you're connected to your Wi-Fi. But as soon as you step outside your Wi-Fi range, it's not going to work. So type in your camera address. <clears throat> so, for instance, if your camera address was... Uh, Hike Vision... driveway.com and the port we'll just say was 82 that's what your camera address is going to need to be um, and then you're going to put in your username and password now for this demonstration I am just going to use 
my internal IP address so that it will pop up and show you because I don't want to put in the actual address to my camera because I don't want a bunch of hackers out there in China and all throughout the world knowing the address to my cameras and, and start trying to hack into it. So I'm just going to put in my uh, local address, my, my network address, Going to put in the uh, username. Password. Uh, make sure s slow on vib request is checked. And the transport protocol is going to be HTTP. And that should be everything. Now, if, if I click setup, it should go out there and, and find it. By default, it's streaming the full definition video. I generally will select my substream, which is 640 by 360. It's just going to be a quicker, you know, it's going to, if it's going to be quicker to refresh on your screen. So if I click save to that, we now have a new icon down here. If you click that, it will pop up. Now, with the paid version of OnViv, you can actually zoom this app. And you can pan just with your thumb, or you can use the, the controls down here. Um, now, that, remember, this is the 640 stream that I'm getting. So when I do zoom in, You know, obviously it gets pixelated. That's the one negative by having the the substream. Um, of course, you can record just by hitting the the record button. Um, you can snap a picture. If you snap a picture right up here, taking taking a snapshot. Now, let me show you, okay, to, 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 to modify your settings, you have to push and hold, or touch and hold the icon. And then it pops up at the menu. So you go to edit, and I'll show you the difference between the substream and the full definition. So now I click save. I've selected the full definition. So now whenever you zoom in, you can see how much clearer as you zoom in. Obviously that's the nice thing about the full uh, resolution, but obviously it uses more uh, data. So if you're on a limited you know, data plan, all the video that you're watching here is, uh, you know, using a lot more data than what it would be if you was just on the substream. But that's about it. Again, you touch and hold. And there's a lot of settings in here that you can go through. Um, what I like about this is it's faster. It's bulletproof. It works. Well, once you get it all set up right, it works like a champ. Um, you know, it's got all your, of course, it's showing the city where Hike Vision's out of and stuff. Um, shows all your information down here. A, a very nice app to be able to look at all your. Uh, whoop. I highly recommend this app. It's uh, I, I've tried both. I've tried the Hike Vision app, and I've tried this, and I prefer this. In fact, I liked it so much that I went ahead and I think it's only like four or five dollars to buy it. They update it all the time. They add things to it. It, it, it it's faster, works more fluidly 
then uh, the Hike Vision app um, does everything I want it to do. I just I like it a lot better. So anyway, that's pretty much how you set it up. Um, again, where I put the where I put the um, my local IP address, that's where you're going to put your address that connects to your camera from outside your network. Whether that's a static IP address or a domain that you have set up pointing to your network, it'll be that address. And you have to put the uh, port that you're on. So in this case, that's port 82. Now, anyway, that's about all I got.